Okay, one of the great fallback positions for atheism when you start talking about morality is they say they rooted their morality, they can root their morality in empathy. It's about realizing that we're both fellow travelers on this earth and you're a human being and I'm a human being so I can empathize with you and hence I can be a moral person because I wouldn't want done to you what I wouldn't want done to myself. It's a variation on the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Herein lies the problem with rooting the entire moral experience on empathy or grounding your morality in empathy. Herein lies the problem because most human beings are a lot less empathetic than they actually think they are and they score themselves a lot higher in the compassion department than they are in fact in real life. And your precious empathy can disappear when it's faced with challenges in the real world. It can go poof, right out the window, just like this. I'll tell you a story that illustrates the point. Yeah, it's kind of a weird story to bring up, but it actually really, really illustrates the point, so I will tell it. Used to work at a place called PC Greens. It was a deli in Malibu. And I was a big, you know, I was a big fun guy there. I used to make sandwiches, and there was a lot of swell attractive upper class women who used to come into the store all the time and you know they were they were as far as I knew friends of mine because that was the social situation I was you know the cool guy behind the deli make the sandwiches and make all the jokes and I forget what I joke about but something funny and some of these women were celebrities actually I uh, don't know for a fact that one was Holly Berry but her name was Holly and she looked a lot like Holly Berry I never asked her I never said are you actually Holly Berry but I'm pretty sure it was don't know for a fact because I never I never ventured to ask her. But some of these women were actual celebrities. And like I said, in this particular situ setting, it was kind of a social setting. I was making sandwiches. The women would come in. They were in a good mood getting their, their health shake and their sandwich. So we'd have chats. And they were kind of friends of mine. And I thought they were like, most of them were really, really, I would have told you they're really, really nice, really compassionate, really loving people. Now I'm not trying to diss these people at all. And I'm not trying to say atheists aren't empathetic at all. As a rule, you're probably more empathetic than the general population. I'm just telling you that athe empathy is a really, really lousy barometer of what makes somebody a moral person. Why? Because it can disappear just like that. It's a terrible thing to base morality on because it's totally and utterly subjective and it can disappear just like that. And that's why I'm telling the story. It illustrates same women, different setting. One day I lose a job at PC Greens. I get a job a little bit down the road at the Malibu Radio Shack. Some of the same women would come into the store. And it was a totally different relationship. Why? Because instead of being the cool guy making the sandwiches who they were going to relate to while they had a sip of coffee or a sip of their health shake, you know, it was a little social hour. Ha ha ha, here's a cool funny guy. I was the person standing between them and what they needed. They would come into the store with broken appliances, broken electronics. My cell phone isn't working. My remote control isn't working. My this isn't working. And I, all of a sudden, was a completely different person in their eyes. Same human being on both ends. The same lovely, fun, charming woman. Kind of vicious when you're standing between her and what she needs. Then all of a sudden you realize the calculation is very different. You aren't the fun, cool, you know, fun-loving, charming guy. You're just a lowly worker. And you're standing between the rich person and what they need. And how they look at you is very, 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 very different. I promise you that. I promise you I'm telling you the God's honest truth. And if you know anything about life, you can size that up for yourself and do the calculation and you'll know I'm telling you the God's honest truth. Empathy is a lousy thing to base your morality on. Why? Because it's so easy to fudge. It's so easy to throw out the window in a different situation and make excuses after the fact. The same people who tell you they're the most empathetic people in the world. Look at the comment section. You, think, you don't think empathy is a lousy way to base your morality? Look at the comment section. Why do people feel justified talking to like, like, like that in the comment section? Because I'm just the jerk Christian. I'm the idiot Christian. The empathy calculation can easily be thrown out. Once you stop considering the person a person. And it's really easy to do. 
It's really easy to uproot someone's sense of empathy. Well, that's not actually a cool person or a good person. That's, you know, that's a Christian or that's an atheist. Or that's a stupid worker who won't fix your remote control. Ultimately, morality has to be rooted in standards and conduct of behavior. Standards and conduct of behavior that do not change and do not yield. Now, some of you would argue that those standards do not exist in the Bible, but the same people who would argue that will sometimes hold me accountable. Will sometimes say to me, you're not acting very Christian, and they know exactly what that word means. Because they've had enough, Christian, enough exposure to Christianity in the general public or enough exposure to Christianity when they were growing up to know exactly what you're not acting very Christian means. Matter of fact, I say that in almost every single person listening to this audio track, listening to this video, knows what that word means. You're not acting very Christian. Yeah, we have some vague sense of what it means, but it means something. You're not being very merciful. merciful. You're not being very patient with me. You're not being very kind or long-suffering. These are all standards that are enumerated and spelled out crystal clear, plain English in the Bible. And they are actual standards that will actually work. Sideshow conversations about the Old Testament. Throw those aside because we are talking about Christianity. And Christianity is rooted in the person and the teachings and the, and the, and the power of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And his teaching is moral. Yes, it is. So help me God. Yes, it is. It's perfectly moral. Someone turns you, hits you on the cheek, turns them the other cheek. It's perfectly moral. That's not empathy. That's a totally different type of behavior than empathy. Why is empathy kind of useless in a moral situation? Because it's really easily thrown out the window when you have changed the calculation of your relationship. That's the point of my story. It's really easy to empathize with the cool guy who's making your sandwiches, who's having, making funny jokes. But all of a sudden, that same guy is just a lowly worker when you've got a broken cell phone and, you need, and you're, you're only thinking, I need to get this cell phone working this weekend because so-and-so so is going to call me. And all of a sudden, that same guy isn't the cool, fun-loving guy. He's just the jerk the worker who, who has his own needs and his own agendas. You don't care. You don't want to hear it. Where's your empathy? Thrown out the window. Why? Because the calculation has changed. Empathy is ultimately a lousy thing to base your morality on. It's so easily thrown out the window. You need to base your morality, even if you are not a Christian and you don't accept that the teachings of Jesus Christ are moral, I promise you that they are. Put them into effect. Really read the teachings of Jesus Christ. You will see for yourself with your own eyes. They are perfectly moral. Perfectly moral. We're not talking about the Old Testament. We're talking about the teachings of Jesus Christ. And now if you're the clever, smart Alec atheist, you're going to say, well, what about these three sentences and this sentence in Ephesians and this sentence in 2 Timothy and this sentence, maybe 10, 15, 20 sentences in the whole New Testament, you're going to tell me, completely negate the whole. It's not a fair analysis of what constitutes morality. It's honest to God not. It's not. It's not a fair analysis of what constitutes morality. It's not a fair analysis of the teachings that are in the Bible. The teachings in the Bible that are moral in nature are perfectly crystal clear, and they are rooted in the person and the, and the, and the teachings of Jesus Christ. You, are, you, the Christian, I, the Christian, am, am, dis, am, can, am told... I'm instructed to base my moral understanding of life. I'm supposed to try to act the way Christ would act in a situation. So I'm supposed to put other people better than myself. I'm supposed to be humble, patient, and long-suffering. I'm supposed to try to embody the fruit of the Spirit. So there's a whole list of these that I can go on with. The only thing I'm trying to point out is these are far superior to empathy. Because empathy is ultimately rooted in something that can be thrown out the window just like that. And even if you are an atheist and you say, I don't accept the moral teachings of Jesus Christ, I don't think they're good. You know, there are people you can talk to who aren't actually Christians. Who will tell you the moral teachings of Jesus Christ are perfectly rock solidly good. And they don't even necessarily believe in God. That's the greatest moral philosopher in history outside of the, outside of the idea of whether he was God or not. Yeah, well, ultimately we're debating whether he was God, but there's really no argument of that, of that being the greatest moral philosopher in history. Oh, but what about the Old Testament? I just said Jesus Christ was the greatest moral philosopher in history outside of whether he was God or not. And the same thing about the Old Testament. It's irrelevant.
to what I just said. So, the final analysis. Empathy is not sufficient. It is not sufficient. It is based on a human emotion. Human emotions are subject to change. You have to, even if you are an atheist, even if you are a committed atheist, if you're an ethical human being, you are going to have to construct a system of ethics that is ultimately rooted in something a lot deeper and more long-lasting than empathy. That's just, this is just the first part of the conversation. So that's all for now. Thank you. Amen.